we have in one box the radiator for the um, Mishimoto the other radiator um, shroud with the fans and then we have the oil catch can for now we have all these parts here I'm gonna have to finish up the wiring I was waiting for wires so we have some there and then I have the um, the other stuff here and there which is good um, because now I have pretty much everything to at least get the vehicle started um, and then we can worry about other things later We could possibly power this thing up and see how it turns on. Wires connected, let's go to try now. That's pretty strong. Right now, I want to test for fitment to see if, you know, everything is good, something needs to be modified. I think the best speed would be from the bottom. Alright, so now I just mounted the um, intercooler, so what I did is I shaved off the crash bar from back a little bit. That way I can fit the radiator there, because if I put it under, it's going to be too low and I'll probably, you know, damage it or scrape it. So I think there would be the best place to put it. And then, um, I'm going to mount it for now, we can always rechange. But for now I think that's good. So, I'm just making custom plates for it. And yeah, I'm on that there. All right, so what I ended up doing is putting a bolt on the intercooler and then putting another bolt inverted and I'm gonna put a nut here and then I'm gonna end up welding this um, nut just so it stays there. Same thing over here and I think that should hold the intercooler for now. And then we'll put on the rad. As you can see here, I grinded this a little bit over here and we're gonna fit the rad. And initially I was thinking of deleting this whole thing chopping it off that way I could mount the intercooler in red but I think this way should work if we need more space we will cut through more um, pieces but for now I think it will work so I'm gonna go ahead and weld these uh, bolts and yeah that should do the trick To 
right, so we have that welded there. It's not the prettiest weld, but I uh, see it's like pretty much multiple tack welds. I try running them all together, but I'm not very good at welding. Same thing here. Ugh, that's fucking cool. The most important thing is <laughs> something I'm gonna tack weld as well the, the nuts. That way it acts like a spacer. And then we'll have that much thread to um, play around with when tightening them. So yeah, I'll do that and then we will mount the intercooler. Alright, we have that nut welded on as well. Same thing here. We have that nut welded on, so now we have them acting as spacers. And yeah, that should be more than enough for our uh, bracket. So there we have the intercooler mounted. That looks pretty nice. Um, I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. The crash bar is pretty much supporting it between the frame and the crash bar. And then we did that mount for it. So it should be pretty good, solid mount. Um, so I'm gonna move around. Uh, just needs a little bit of tightening and we will be good. All right, so the intercooler is mounted all good. Now for the radiator, what I'm going to do is I actually got a um, metal bar and I chopped it in pieces and I welded it into like a U type shape. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it down here and I'll mount it to just basically the nut here. So I'm going to have another cut piece that's going to go under there drilled and that's basically going to hold it like that. One side here, one side there, that's the bottom, and then the top as well, I'm going to do a bracket for it. So yeah, for now I'm just working on uh, mounting the radiator. Um, for now I'm going to install the second bracket, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that using a rivet gun, a drill, and a sheet. Okay, so once we did a hole there, we're gonna get our rivet kit here, and um, we're gonna use an M5. And the rivet itself. I'm gonna cut this little excess here.
So there we have it. That's installed, that's installed, and it's pretty solid right now. I can't even move it, so that's good. Um, I'm just gonna start cleaning up other few things. Currently I'm working on the um, switches here that I had previously, I'm rewiring everything. Um, I had one switch originally for the LEDs on the bumper. The second switch I'm gonna run to one of the fans. Third switch will be both fans, that way I can control the fan. Um, not turn both of them on or turn only one. Eventually I will run um, a relay into the PCM, that way it does it automatically. But for now I'm just gonna wire them to a switch and then we can do the relay later on. So these two fans here have individual cables to them. Um, so this is for one of the fans and the other fan is here. Now I'm gonna share the ground to the body. So both of them will be grounded at all times. And one of the lines will have one power and I'll run another power line that taps into both lines. So we're working on the intercooler piping right now. Um, we're going down through here and then using a U-shaped. We had to shorten the original pipes to make it fit, but um, everything is looking good so far. And fitment is not an issue, so that's good. We're just gonna clean up the pipes now for many shavings left in it, and then we will install the pipes. Other than that, we're just waiting on the drive shaft and we have to mount in the transmission. So far, everything is good, so yeah. 